Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between electric discharge machining and electron beam machining. Electrical discharge machining is a powerful, non-conventional machining technique with the ability to machine any conductive material regardless of mechanical property. Electric discharge machining process utilizes a high-intensity spark as heat source. In the electron beam machining process, a high-velocity focused beam of electrons are used to remove the metal from the workpiece, this process is best suited for the micro-cutting of materials. So, let's look into the basic differences between electric discharge machining and electron beam machining in a tabular form. Difference number 1 a packet of avalanche of electrons in the form of a spark is used to remove material in electric discharge machining process, whereas, a high-intensity beam of focused electrons is used to remove material in electron beam machining process. Number 2, a shaped or form electrode, also called tool, is necessary in electric discharge machining process. The shape of the tool must be in accordance with the intended feature, whereas, no such electrode is required in electron beam machining process. Number 3, in electric discharge machining, the workpiece is made positive polarity electrode, the tool is made negative polarity electrode, whereas, workpiece is not made any electrode, but it is grounded for keeping electrically neutral by transmitting striking electrons to the earth. Number 4. In electric discharge machining, the tool electrode and the workpiece electrode are immersed in suitable dielectric fluid, such as kerosene, deionized water, etc., whereas, in electron beam machining, workpiece is not immersed in any liquid. In fact, machining is carried out in vacuum, low pressure, chamber. Number 5. Material removal rate is very low. Thus the process is time-consuming in electric discharge machining. Whereas, in electron beam machining, the material removal rate is high, but this process is also time consuming due to the requirement of creating vacuum chamber. Number 6, no X-ray is generated during electric discharge machining process, whereas, mild X-ray generation takes place during electron beam machining process and this it possesses health risk to the operator. Number 7, spark generation, and thus material removal occurs only from the closest point between the workpiece surface and tool surface. Thus surface asperities and waviness play crucial role in electric discharge machining machining performance, whereas, in electron beam machining, material removal takes place from all such points where the beam is directed. Thus surface asperities and waviness does not influence electron beam machining performance. Number 8 Electric discharge machining process is usually free from the recast layer formation, whereas, recast layer formation is one of the major drawbacks of electron beam machining process. And, difference number 9, usually electric discharge machining process does not offer high aspect ratio machining. Thus it is not suitable for drilling, whereas, electron beam machining can generate high aspect ratio features. It is also suitable for drilling, 